This is Patrice Wendling at the Annual Congress of the European Society of Cardiology, speaking with Dr. Philippe Carreau, who has just presented the first results on gender differences with TAVI. Could you please give us a little more idea of what, what you found? Yeah, thank you. Uh, our, our study is the first uh, study to provide gender differences in uh, uh, patients treated for TAVI, uh, by TAVI for uh, severe aortic stenosis and treated by Edwards and core valve devices which are both available uh, in Europe. Uh, this study shows that uh, women uh, seem to have better long-term survival after TAVI compared to men. So, uh, of course, one of the main issues is to understand why this result. Probably uh, longer life expectancy in women uh, is the main uh, explanation uh, for uh, our results. This may be because the patient population is very old, uh, 83 years old in, in mean, and because uh, this is a consecutive registry of uh, non-selected patients uh, treated with aortic stenosis. So we didn't find any difference in other uh, factors that could explain this gap in mortality rates. Of course, women had uh, less uh, comorbidity, but these findings were not uh, associated with adverse outcomes in our study. Traditionally in surgery, uh, with traditional aortic valve replacement, the size um, of the woman, the annulus, and, and just her overall uh, body stature is so much smaller. Is, is something about TAVI different um, when in traditional surgery it does cause a problem? The, di the, the, the difficulties with uh, female anatomy and in particular the arctic root or limitation in size is associated with a patient prosthetic mismatch that is responsible for a higher post-operative uh, uh, mean arctic vascular, uh, valvular uh, mean pressure, uh, pressure gradient. And uh, in our study uh, after TAVI, the mean pressure gradient was similar between women and men, so probably there is no patient prosthetic mismatch with TAVI as compared with surgery, and probably this is the result of a, a higher feasible technique compared to surgery in these patients. What's the next step in your research, sir? So next step should be, of course, is there an explanation for these results? Is it only life expectancy or something else? It is like an, an inverse uh, gap gender in cardiology and we are very excited to wait for uh, trials, upcoming trials to have some answers to these questions. Mm -hmm.